we take you through the rest of the night. Skies should clear out. The storms are going to continue sliding off toward the north and east, so they are going to continually move out of here. And unfortunately, it does look like it's going to be an active night across the central United States. Here in Colorado, though, things are going to continually quiet down. By 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, I do expect more sun than clouds, but that will change as we take you into the afternoon. We'll pause the clock once again at 4 o'clock. We'll start to see a few clouds piling up across the high country. And while Skycast isn't overly enthusiastic about breaking out any storms tomorrow, I can't completely rule out a few areas of isolated showers in and around the high country. We'll keep an eye on that, but I certainly do not expect a repeat of what we had out there today. Temperatures tonight will be falling into the 40s and 50s with 20s and 30s in the high country. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon are getting into the 70s and 80s. Unfortunately, as nice as 70s and 80s sound, it's also going to be very windy with wind speeds up to about 20 miles per hour. So tomorrow afternoon, aside from the lack of severe weather, should actually end up being very similar to what we had out there today. Taking a look at your seven day forecast, temperatures are expected to drop into the 60s Thursday, Friday. Temperatures are going to be cooler and we are going to have more storms in place. Thursday, Friday will bring back the potential for strong to severe weather here in southern Colorado as the system moves overhead. That system moves out of here with temperatures warming gradually back up over the weekend and into early next week. We will have a slight chance for storms Saturday, Sunday, but then on Monday we're going to kick up the chance for storms. So if you do have outdoor plans, make sure to keep a close eye on the forecast and we'll help you do that here on Caridio News Channel 13. Pueblo 84 tomorrow, 75 on Thursday, low 70s expected on Friday. Upper 70s Saturday with temperatures getting into the 80s Sunday and Monday. A daily chance for storms will fire up on Thursday, sticking around into the middle of next week. In Canyon City tomorrow, 80 degrees, 72 then on Thursday with temperatures falling into the 60s on Friday. Mid to upper 70s through the weekend with a daily chance for storms, but you'll notice Thursday, Friday looking to be the most active. In Delaware County, 64 tomorrow, 56 on Thursday with low 50s expected on Friday. Upper 50s on Saturday with low 60s Saturday into Sunday. We are expecting a good chance for storms around Teller County also for the end of the work week and with these storms heading our way. It's a good idea to equip yourself with the best tool when it comes to storm tracking and that's our Storm Tracker 13 weather app free for your iPhone and your Android. Just another way we're keeping you ahead of the storm. Be sure to check in with Jay tomorrow morning. He will be in once again for Abby tracking those storms heading our way later this week and of course the all-important holiday weekend. Oh, yeah. yes.